G'day, this is Jim with Urban Cell Sufficiency, and today I'm going to show you how I made this hanging tomato planter. For this project you're going to use an empty soda bottle that's been washed out. I prefer a 2 litre because it's a larger bottle. And then using a marker, just draw a line all the way around the circumference, around 2 to 2.5 two inches up from the bottom of the soda bottle. I use a block to prop my hand up and then spin the bottle along the pen to make it easier to get an accurate mark. Then take a razor blade or a pair of scissors and cut along that line to take the bottom of the bottle off. The bottom is going to form the top and what we're going to do is actually invert this and insert into the bottle and this creates a funnel for watering later on which we'll see. Now to attach these two pieces, I'm going to drill a hole on either side and thread some wire between the two. And this wire is also going to not only fasten the two pieces together, but it's going to also form the hook so we can actually hang this up. Now we're also just going to drill some holes in the feet of the soda bottle and this is the low point once this is inverted and that's where the water is going to flow through into the soil when we water it from the top of the hanging plant. So this forms the basic shape. The next step is to get this ready for the hanger. And I'm just using some thick gauge wire. And I've just curled the end and then I'm going to bend this around to make sure it can reach either side of the bottle and then form another hook on the other side. And then as this is going to be hanging from a screw or a nail, I'm just going to create a little divot in the top of that so that it doesn't slide around. And here you can see how they hook together. And keep the two pieces together and form a handle. Pretty simple design. But for now, it's time to paint the outside of the container. This is just to protect the roots and make it look a little bit nicer. I'm using green spray paint but you can pretty much use any colour you like. To make room for this plant to fit through the end of the bottle, I'm just going to take the first couple of branches off this tomato plant and to leave nice piece of stalk that's actually going to sit between where the soil is within the container and then pass up through the neck of the bottle and bring itself out through the top. You just want to remember to be gentle with the plant, not to damage it, particularly as we poke it through the end of the bottle. going to top this up with some good quality potting mix, nearly all the way at the top, just leaving enough room for the funnel in the end. I've tried this before with tomatoes and they worked really well. Just got to watch out for bigger varieties of tomatoes though because the weight of those tomatoes will pull down on the plant and if they're too heavy it can actually potentially pull the plant out of the pot seeing as they're hanging. But here I'm just using the Roma tomato variety which is a fairly light fruit and it's great for cherry tomatoes and other smaller varieties. Now I'm just attaching the handle again and because it's all filled up and ready to go I'm going to crimp those ends off to help keep it all together.
And here's how the funnel works. You just simply pour in the top, the water flows through those holes and into the soil. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take it easy.